Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2020 West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine's graduation awards ceremony. Let me begin by saying that I hope you, your families, and everyone who is watching is, is well and safe. Without a doubt, we are living in challenging and unprecedented times. The novel coronavirus pandemic has affected all of us in so many different ways. We certainly understand that today as we honor the women and men of the class of 2020 in a virtual award ceremony. As you know, there have been many changes due to the public health crisis, including those at WVSOM. In spite of having to cancel large group events on campus, I am proud to welcome you to this virtual award ceremony. I hope many of you are watching this event from the comfort of your homes with your loved ones. I am so very proud of the class of 2020. I wanna share some information about this remarkable class with you. There are 188 students participating in graduation this year. 92 are women and 96 are men. 45 of the graduates are from West Virginia and the rest hail from as far away as Alaska and the state of Washington to as, as close as Kentucky and Virginia, Pennsylvania and Maryland. In fact, the class of 2020 represents students from 32 states. This class is truly remarkable when it comes to community service. This is the class that began their medical education after one of the worst floods in the history of West Virginia. The flood of 2016 was devastating to Greenbrier County. The members of this class, before starting their curriculum, logged over 1,500 hours helping victims of the flood. Many additional volunteer hours were put in, but were never documented. Collectively, this class logged nearly 10,000 hours of community service during their four years of medical school. That, that, that's just truly amazing and remarkable. What an, what an absolutely astounding group of giving students who truly care about their communities. Thank you. The class of 2020 is also truly remarkable when it comes to academics. The most important statistic, in my opinion, is that the class had a 99% residency match rate. That is, that is just fantastic. This is a big deal, uh, especially since there are not enough residency positions in the nation for the number of medical students who apply for them. The class of 2020 was the first class to go through the combined residency match as a result of the single GME accreditation merger, and they did fantastic. And where are the members of the class of 2020 going? Well, here are some of the numbers. 126 graduates, or 67%, will enter into a primary care residency. Uh, this includes family medicine, internal medicine, uh, pediatrics, and OBGYN. WVSOM is, in fact, one of the top medical schools in the nation, DO or, or MD, for graduating students who enter primary care residencies. We're in the top five. 24 of our graduates are going into emergency medicine, 14 into psychiatry, 10 into anesthesia, three into neurology and two into dermatology and pathology, and one into otolaryngology and physical medicine residencies. 12 of you are going into some type of surgery, six into general surgery, three into surgery prelim, and one into orthopedics, thoracic and vascular specialties. And then in addition, nine matched into a military residency. And we are so thankful for our, our military students and all those who serve in our military. Thank you for your service to our country. And certainly, congratulations to all of the members of the class of 2020 who have matched into their residencies. This class has matched into such prestigious programs as Albany Medical College, uh, Burke Rehabilitation Hospital in New York, Cleveland Clinic, Geisinger Health System, uh, the Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education, 
the universities of Florida, Kentucky, and Louisville, Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, and WVU and Marshall Universities, just to name a few. I know that as a class and as individuals, you are very proud of your accomplishments. Please know that we are very proud of you as well. I am certain that once you leave here, your accomplishments will continue to grow as you advance in your careers. I am honored to be associated with your class. You will always have a special place in my heart. I would also like to recognize our many benefactors who have given generously to help our graduating students. We greatly appreciate your continued support in assisting these deserving men and women in their pursuit of an osteopathic medical career. I would also like to thank Dr. Andrea Nazar and Dr. Peter Ward, who will be announcing 28 awards totaling more than $37,000 today. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and all those who have helped them reach this milestone. Without further ado, let's begin the graduation awards ceremony. The WVSOM Alumni Association Roland P. Sharp Graduate Award was created to honor the values of WVSOM's first president who served from 1974 to 1978. Dr. Sharp was dedicated to this school and its continuing success right up until the time of his death in 2013 at the age of 105. This award honors a graduating student who exemplifies Dr. Sharp's vision of holistic care and service and is presented to a graduate who has submitted an essay reflecting on the past, present, and future of osteopathic medicine, the history of WVSOM, and how the student has been impacted by their medical education. The WVSOM Alumni Association received 19 excellent essays, selecting Alexandria Carter as this year's winner. Alexandria will receive an award of $5,000. The Olin E. Jones, Jr. and WSOM Foundation Academic Achievement Award was established by the Foundation Board of Directors to recognize Dr. Jones' 21 years of service to WVSOM as president and his belief in the importance of academic achievement. This award honors a graduate who has excelled academically and provides a monetary gift in the amount which will hopefully make a difference at this important crossroads of his or her life. The WVSOM Board of Directors is presenting $5,000 to Lauren Fravor. Dr. Roland P. Sharp created the Opal Price Sharp Memorial Award in memory of his wife. Opal Price Sharp worked by his side with Dr. Sharp in the early years of WVSOM, using her journalistic skills to promote the school's mission throughout West Virginia. It was Dr. Sharp's wish that her efforts be recognized, appreciated, and remembered as an encouraging force in the establishment of this school. Therefore, it is our great honor to perpetuate Dr. Sharp's wishes by presenting the Opal Price Sharp Memorial Award of $2,000 to Amina Hamza. Each year, one student is selected from each of the Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine to be honored as the Student DO of the Year for their college. Nominations for this award are solicited from the entire WVSOM community, faculty, and students. Nominees submit an essay and a current CV to a selection committee composed of class representatives and faculty chaired by the SGA president. The recipient is selected based on a scoring system developed by the Council of Student Government Presidents. Candidates are judged on service, leadership, and commitment to the osteopathic profession. The winner, receiving $2,000, is Emmanuel Dimitri Foco Tito. The Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia Farson Smith Early Award is presented to a fourth year student who has matched to a West Virginia primary care residency with the intent to practice in a rural area. This year's recipient, Evan Muscari, receives a commemorative crystal award, a permanent honorary plaque at the WSOM campus, and $3,000. The Donald Newell Sr. Memorial Award for Outstanding Graduating Senior was established by Donald Newell II in honor of his dad, one of the founders of WVSOM. 
In the 1970s, Donald Newell Sr., along with a small group of osteopathic physicians, purchased the Greenbrier Military School property and started the Greenbrier College of Osteopathic Medicine. Doc Newell and his son, Dr. Ryan Newell, are both graduates of WVSOM. This award is presented to a graduating student who, in the opinion of his or her classmates, best exemplifies the qualities of scholarship, osteopathic professional interest, leadership, and citizenship. This year's award of $1,000 is presented to Emmanuel Dimitri Foco Tito. The Gwen Klingman Memorial Scholarship was established by her family to honor the memory of Gwen Klingman, whose ties to WVSOM run as deep as her soup pot. She was the cousin of WVSOM's first president, Dr. Roland P. Sharp. Ms. Klingman was always taking care of West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine students by feeding them out of her restaurant, Klingman's Market, now known as the Stardust Cafe. This award is presented to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to community service throughout his or her time in medical school. A $1,000 scholarship and replica of Klingman's Market is presented to Amina Hamza. The John and Nancy Chambers Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who intends to practice medicine in an underserved community and demonstrates a strong academic performance. This award honors two of the most revered former WSOM professors. This year's recipient receiving $1,000 is Devin Welsh. The Olivia Claire Obrachta Pediatric Award recognizes a student who is committed to serving in a pediatric specialty. Dina Obrachta D.O., class of 1994, created the award in honor of her granddaughter who passed away after her birth. This year's recipient receiving $2,000 is Jessie Ann Flowers. The Catherine A. Bishop Scholarship Award recognizes a fourth-year student committed to a residency program in West Virginia. Dr. Kathy Bishop is a West Virginia native who graduated from WVSOM in 1994 and serves her community as a family practice osteopathic physician. The recipient has strong ties to West Virginia and to rural medicine and has maintained the high standards of WVSOM while overcoming adversity along the way. This year's recipient receiving $1,000 is Langley Register. The David Hinchman D.O. Emergency Medicine Scholarship was established by Brant Hinchman D.O. Class of 2012 to honor his retired father from WVSOM's Class of 1982 and others who have helped medical students become emergency medicine physicians. This scholarship is given to a graduating student who intends to enter an emergency medicine residency. This year's award, donated by the Emergency Medicine Club, is given in memory of Dr. Dennis Small, WVSOM faculty member. This year's recipient receiving an award of $2,000 is Chizite Ihanuniku. The Stephanie Don Berge Memorial Scholarship was established to honor Charles and Jean Cornell's daughter Stephanie, who died from suicide. This scholarship recognizes a student committed to working on behalf of mental health issues with a focus on patient care and intervention. This scholarship recipient receiving $1,000 is Dallas Marsh. The Dr. William R. Holmes Scholarship is awarded to a student who has shown determination, persistence, and commitment in pursuit of an osteopathic medical education. The Holmes family created this award in memory of Dr. Holmes, WVSOM class of 1984, to an overcomer someone who in spite of challenges and obstacles will be graduating as an osteopathic physician. This year's $1,000 scholarship is presented to Raymond Dobson. The MSO PTI Rural Scholar Program aims to increase the likelihood that students from West Virginia medical schools will self-select residency programs located in the state, establish a relationship in the community, and commit to practice medicine in that area. MSO PTI, in a partnership with the West Virginia Higher Education Policy Commission, provides awards to two graduating students who have been accepted into an MSO PTI residency training program. This year's scholarship recipients, each receiving $5,000, are Madison Chase McCreary and To Nguyen.
The mission of the United States Public Health Service is to protect, promote, and advance the health and safety of our nation. The efforts of the recipient align with their mission and promote overall public health. Thus, on behalf of the U.S. Public Health Service and the Surgeon General, WVSOM would like to recognize Emmanuel Dimitri Foco Tito with the 2020 Excellence in Public Health Award. The West Virginia chapter of the American College of Emergency Physicians Award is presented to one student from each of the three medical schools in West Virginia whose performance in clinical rotations reflects an understanding and commitment to the delivery of emergency care. This year, the organization recognizes Gurmaninder Singh. We would like to take a moment to thank all veterans and individuals dedicating their life to the service of our country. We would also like to acknowledge our graduating military students. Today, we have the honor and pleasure of recognizing a group of graduating students who have made a special commitment to service. In addition to becoming osteopathic physicians, these students will, upon graduation, enter active military service where they will complete their residencies while serving our country. These students will receive a coin as a symbol of excellence and achievement. This particular military coin was designed by WVSOM students who were the organizers of our AMOPS chapter. Ten graduates are recognized with special coins for their military service. Lillian Harry, Air Force. Shrina Reddy, Air Force. Jeanette Rosevere, Air Force. Landon Rosevere, Air Force. Tinchi Lama Tamei, Air Force. Matthew Blake, Army. Jesse Laverdier, Army. Michael Sisler, Army. Reina Lopez, Navy. Christina Zong, Navy. WVSOM's Rural Health Initiative recognizes 11 graduates who participated in the program. This program is designed to enhance the rural primary care curriculum at WVSOM and produce graduates uniquely qualified to practice medicine in underserved communities in rural West Virginia. Those recognized are Allison Collier, Joshua Ennis, Joshua Fleming, Emmanuel Dimitri Foco Tito, Kelsey Full, Madonna Gribble, Adrian Hackney, Carly Heatherly, Anna King, Langley Register, and Kelsey Scott. Two students from each of the seven statewide campus regions are receiving awards for their excellence during third and fourth year clinical rotations. For the northern region, Lucy Chisler and Raymond Dobson. For the eastern region, Nicholas Bowers and Lillian Harry. For the central east region, Natalie Osiki and Lauren Searles. For the central west region, Lauren Burton and Lisa Hall. For the southeast region, Lauren Fraber and Jason Gilbert. For the South Central Region, Samantha Nybert and Devin Welsh. For the Southwest Region, Alexis Borden and Jacob Helsel. Students who are selected as graduate teaching assistants spend an extra year at WSOM assisting in the laboratory classes and in delivering the teaching content at WVSOM. These GTAs are either in the anatomy, clinical skills, or osteopathic principles and practices area. The Order of Vesalius Award is presented to students who have served as graduate teaching assistants in the Biomedical Sciences Department with the anatomy faculty. This award is named for the first modern anatomist, Andreas Vesalius, who broke with academic tradition and allowed the reality of the human body to speak for itself. The award is presented this year to Adam Goodkoff and Lindsay Kent, whose intellectual curiosity, innovative teaching, inspiring work ethic, and passion for research make them worthy inheritors of this tradition and a credit to the GTA program. Thank you, Adam and Lindsay. The Ram's Head Award is granted to students who served as graduate teaching assistants in the Osteopathic Medical Education Department. This year's award is presented to Cassandra Digas and Monica Marcinkevicus.
The Clinical Sciences Award recognizes students who served as graduate teaching assistants in the Clinical Sciences Department. This year's award is presented to Lauren Burton. Psi Sigma Alpha is a national osteopathic scholastic honor society. Membership in this honor society is eligible to those students who finish in the top 15% of their class after completing their second year of medical school. The following 27 students are being recognized as members of Psi Sigma Alpha and will receive a medallion. Nicholas Bowers, Keaton Dubois, Lauren Fravor, Taylor George, Nolan Green, Justin Griffith, Amina Hamza, Lillian Harry, Aaron Harkop, Jacob Helsel, Vincent Kakady, Danielle Kerr, Carl Levy, Marina Metzler, Erica Michelin, Samantha Nybert, Natalie Osecki, Austin Patterson, Drew Phillips, Adam Polinick, Scott Rice, Elizabeth Richter, Kelsey Rogers, David Smith Jr., Kelsey Smith, Zachary Tilly, Devin Welsh. Sigma Sigma Phi is a national honorary osteopathic service fraternity. Membership is eligible to all students based upon scholarship and service. Students work to maintain high academic standards while also contributing to the betterment of others through community service. The following 40 students will receive gold and maroon cords reflecting their membership in Sigma Sigma Phi. Kaylee Barnt, Angelica Bialchik, Stephen Beam, Cassandra Diggis, Jesse Ann Flowers, Emmanuel Dimitri Foco Tito, Lauren Fravor, Alaric G, Lisa Hall, Amina Hamza, Carly Heatherly, Jacob Helsel, Ashley Henning, Aaron Hess, Christine Kerr, Danielle Kerr, Jeffrey Kaiser, Mohanad Kurtom, Mishka McFarland, Madison McLaughlin, Jessica Mercado Ortiz, Marina Metzler, Erica Michelin, Robert Mullen, Anna Nelson, To Wen, Natalie Osiki, Madeline Parson, Drew Phillips, Langley Register, Alicia Rigo, Elizabeth Richter, Kelsey Rogers, Christina Romanello, Landon Rosevere, Emily Rowlands, E. Dylan Saunders, Kelsey Smith, Danish Valiani, Christina V. The top 10% of women in the graduating class as of April 24th will receive the American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Citation for Academic Achievement. Eight students are being recognized for this award. Lauren Fravor, Amina Hamza, Danielle Kerr, Erica Michelin, Anna Nelson, Emily Rowlands, Kelsey Smith, Christina V. The Merrick Manual Award for Academic Excellence is presented to the top two female students and top two male students based on grade point average in their class as determined by the Registrar's Office as of April 24, 2020. This year's recipients are Lauren Fravor and Erica Michelin, Nicholas Bowers and Austin Patterson. We now recognize this year's honor graduates. These students have excelled academically and are graduating in the top 10% of their class as of May 21st, 2020. The following students are graduating with honors and will be presented with honor stoles. Nicholas Bowers, 
Jesse Ann Flowers, Lauren Fravor, Taylor George, Adam Goodkoff, Nolan Green, Justin Griffith, Amina Hamza, Danielle Kerr, Erica Michelin, Evan Muscari, Anna Nelson, Austin Patterson, Scott Rice, David Smith, Kelsey Smith, Danish Violani, Christina Vieth, and Devin Welsh. The Donna Jones Moritsugu Award recognizes an osteopathic medical student's spouse or partner. The recipient exemplifies the role of a professional's partner in providing support to their family and the osteopathic profession. This year's recipient is Sishira Nanjangud Srinivas, wife of Sahil Parag. Please join me in congratulating all our award recipients. Wow, 28 awards and more than $37,000 presented. To our benefactors, our deepest appreciation. We will be in contact with each of our recipients and congratulations to everyone. I would also like to thank the people whose hard work has made this event today possible the award selection committee, and all the staff from the president's and dean's offices, the student life office, the registrar's and financial aid offices, marketing and communications, media services and IT departments, and the WVSOM Alumni Association and the WVSOM Foundation offices. I would like to thank all of you for your hard work and all you do for to support WVSOM and our students, especially our graduates. Well, to everyone, thank you for attending this event. We hope you enjoyed it. You can view and share this ceremony from our WVSOM website, Facebook, and YouTube pages. I hope all of you take care and continue to be safe and have a great rest of your day. Bye now.